Hello, mathematicians, and welcome to day 10 of working in our math packets. So right now I have days 10 and 11, oops, can't see it, lessons five and six, and it's all about working with the number 10. So we know if, as mathematicians, we can break numbers apart and build it back to find the same number in different ways. We also know that 10 is our best friend. We can become great mathematicians when we know all the ways to make 10. And finally, the total is the whole number or all of the parts put together. If you know one part and the total, you can use those to find the missing part. So we're gonna go to page 34. And it's got the same jars on it that we worked with before, but this time they give you directions on how many to put in the jar and you have to figure out how many are in the grass then by counting on. This paper is too small for me to put my piece of cereal on, so I, again, have drawn my jar and my grass on a separate board and I have my piece of cereal here with me to help. So I'm gonna start with 10 pieces of cereal because that's all we're using today. I don't need any more pieces. My first problem says five in the jar, blank in the grass, 10 in all. So I'll start by putting five in the jar because that's what my paper tells me to do. One, oh, we can't see that. Two, three, four, five. So I know that I have five in the, char, in the jar. I want to count on to make 10 because it says I have 10 in all or 10 in total. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I have 10 pieces all together. So I can represent exactly what I did on my paper. Slide that over, move my paper down. I saw that I had one, two, three, four, five in the jar. And I can count one, two, three, four, five in the grass. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five in the grass. Now my paper says five in the jar, five in the grass, 10 in all. Five plus five equals 10. So I solved it using a tool and counting on and then I represented exactly what I did on my piece of paper. Now, you'll pause the video and fill in the rest of the jars on your own. Now that you've been able to fill out all those jars, we're gonna flip to page 36, and it's another way, page of ways to make 10. So I don't need my pieces of cereal anymore. On this page, I'm just figuring out how I wanna make 10. We've done things like this before. So I'm gonna choose a black, oops, I'm gonna choose some, some two different color markers. And I'm gonna find different ways to make 10. It already start, starts out by showing us that one plus nine equals 10. So I do not wanna start with coloring in one box. I think I'm gonna start with the red and maybe this time I'll color three boxes. So I'm gonna color one, two, three. I'll color the rest of them green. Just to show my two different parts. I, cho I chose to color three of them red and the rest of them green. Now it's time for me to fill in my number sentence. So I know I have one, two, three red squares. Then I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green squares. And now my number sentence says three plus seven equals 10. You are going to finish the rest of this page on your own as well, picking a different number to start with and then finding out how many more to make 10. Take a picture of our ways to make 10 and our jar page she your teacher so that you can earn those special yellow tickets. I look forward to seeing your pictures mathematicians.